Case Study, Revolutionizing Cybersecurity at Cyberfortress, Harnessing Reinforcement Learning for Adaptive Defense Strategies. Reinforcement learning is revolutionizing the field of cybersecurity, introducing adaptive defense mechanisms that can evolve with emerging threats. Consider the scenario at Cyberfortress, a mid-sized financial technology firm that has recently experienced a series of sophisticated cyber attacks targeting its network infrastructure. The Chief Information Security Officer, Emily, faces the daunting task of fortifying the company's defenses against these persistent threats. Emily's first step is to implement an adaptive intrusion detection system, leveraging reinforcement learning. Traditional IDS, which rely on static signatures to identify known threats, have repeatedly failed to detect the novel attack patterns that the company has been facing. An RL-based IDS can, however, learn from its environment and adapt its detection strategies over time. The agent learns to recognize patterns of network traffic that deviate from the norm, flagging potential intrusions for further examination. During the initial deployment phase, Emily notices a significant improvement in the detection rates. The RL-based IDS has identified unusual traffic patterns that the traditional system had missed. This success, however, raises critical questions. How can Emily ensure that the RL-based IDS continues to adapt effectively to new threats? Could the system be manipulated by attackers to evade detection? These questions are crucial because the robustness of the IDS against adversarial tactics directly impacts its long-term reliability. To address these concerns, Emily decides to incorporate adversarial training into the RL agent's development process. By exposing the agent to a wide array of simulated attack scenarios, including those designed to exploit potential weaknesses in the system, the team ensures that the IDS becomes more resilient. This approach helps the RL agent develop strategies to counteract both known and unknown threats, enhancing its overall robustness. With the IDS successfully operational, Emily turns her attention to automated response mechanisms. Traditionally, when an attack is detected, the response actions are manually executed by a team of cybersecurity experts, which is not only time-consuming, but also prone to human error. Reinforcement learning offers a promising solution by enabling the development of automated response systems. An RL agent can be trained to take appropriate actions based on the specifics of an attack, such as isolating affected systems or blocking malicious IP addresses in real time. Implementing an RL-based automated response system significantly reduces response times. For example, during a simulated attack, the RL agent manages to isolate the compromised system within seconds, minimizing potential damage. This rapid response capability prompts Emily to consider, are there any scenarios where automated responses might cause more harm than good? What safeguards could be put in place to ensure the RL agent's actions align with the organization's policies? To address these challenges, Emily and her team implement a hybrid approach where the RL agent's actions are monitored by human experts. This setup allows for immediate intervention if the agent's actions deviate from expected norms. Additionally, the team uses explainable AI techniques to generate human-readable explanations of the agent's decisions, helping cybersecurity professionals understand and trust the system's behavior. Beyond detection and response, Emily explores the potential of reinforcement learning in deception-based cyber defense. Traditional honeypots and decoy systems aim to mislead attackers and gather intelligence, but their static nature often makes them easily recognizable to skilled adversaries. By integrating RL, Emily envisions dynamic honeypots that adapt their behavior based on observed attacker tactics. An RL agent can modify the appearance and configuration of honeypots to increase the likelihood of successful deception. Emily's team conducts experiments with dynamic honeypots, noting a substantial increase in the duration attackers spend interacting with these decoys. This success raises further questions. How can the intelligence gathered from dynamic honeypots be effectively used to strengthen overall network security? What are the ethical implications of deploying such deception techniques? To incorporate the gathered intelligence into broader defense strategies, Emily's team develops a framework for analyzing attacker behaviors. 
This framework helps identify common attack vectors and tactics, informing the design of more robust security measures. Ethical considerations are addressed by ensuring that all deception techniques comply with legal and organizational standards, maintaining a balance between effective defense and responsible conduct. Resource allocation also presents significant challenges in a large and complex network like Cyberfortress. Determining the optimal placement and configuration of security measures, such as firewalls and intrusion prevention systems, is a critical yet complex task. Emily decides to leverage reinforcement learning to optimize resource allocation. An RL agent can be trained to identify the network's most critical assets and allocate resources accordingly, ensuring high-value targets receive the most robust protection. Emily's team deploys the RL-based resource allocation strategy and observes a marked improvement in overall network security. This success prompts Emily to reflect, how can the RL agent's recommendations be validated to ensure they align with the organization's security priorities? What metrics should be used to measure the effectiveness of resource allocation? To validate the RL agent's recommendations, Emily's team employs a continuous feedback loop involving periodic audits and performance assessments. Key metrics such as the number of thwarted attacks, response times, and resource utilization rates provide quantitative measures of effectiveness, allowing for ongoing refinement of the allocation strategy. Throughout these initiatives, empirical studies provide valuable support for the team's efforts. For example, research by Nguyen and Reddy demonstrates that RL-based IDS significantly outperform traditional systems in detecting zero-day attacks. Similarly, Saloum et al. show that RL-based automated response systems can have the average response time compared to manual interventions. These findings underscore the transformative potential of reinforcement learning in cybersecurity. However, integrating RL into cyber defense also necessitates addressing challenges related to robustness, reliability, and interpretability. Cyber attackers constantly evolve their tactics, and RL agents must adapt without being easily manipulated or deceived. Techniques such as adversarial training, as employed by Emily's team, enhance the system's resilience. Ensuring interpretability is equally important as cybersecurity professionals need to understand the decision-making processes of RL agents to trust and effectively use these systems. In conclusion, reinforcement learning offers a powerful toolset for developing adaptive cyber defense strategies. By harnessing the ability of RL agents to learn from their environment, organizations like Cyberfortress can develop more effective IDS, automated response systems, deception techniques, and resource allocation strategies. Addressing challenges related to robustness, reliability, and interpretability is crucial for the successful deployment of RL-based systems. By doing so, the cybersecurity community can build more resilient and adaptive defense mechanisms, enhancing the security of digital environments against evolving threats.